volcano, super volcano horror warning. World's most active volcano slowly rising from under the lake. Researchers sounded a horror warning as one of the most explosive super volcanoes in history is still rumbling. Lake Tapo of the northern island of New Zealand is one of the 22 some odd super volcanoes of the world. It last erupted about 26,000 years ago and the anthropologists claim that they estimated only a thousand couples uh, remained after that explosion. It was an almost extinction level event. A thousand couples, that means 2,000 people. Now, Lake Tapo, a serene water body located in the center of New Zealand's North Island, actually sits within a prehistoric caldera that is a large volcanic crater. And this crater was formed after the Earth's most recent super eruption, the Oruanui eruption. It rocked the, re the area about 25,400 years ago. Over the past few decades, scientists have been studying the lake and the regions around it, and only to reach the worrying conclusion that the volcano, of course, may still be active. The study's lead author is Dr. Finnegan Isley Kemp from Victoria University of Wellington, New Zealand. He said Lake Tapu, or Tapu, conceals one of the world's most active caldera volcanoes, which last erupted 1,800 years ago. Movements of magma and tectonic faults beneath the surface, he said, frequently cause the ground surface above the volcano to uplift and subside. In 1979, we began a novel surveying technique which uses the lake surface to detect small changes with four surveys made every year since. In this paper, we summarize this 42 years of data to show that within the lake, near Horomaganti reefs, the volcano has caused a 160 millimeter of uplift, that is, it's inflating, whereas north of the lake, the tectonic faults have caused 140 millimeters of subsidence. Now, this shows that Tapo is an active and dynamic volcano, he said, which is intimately connected with the surrounding tectonics. A caldera is formed when a supervolcano releases over 1,000 cubic kilometers of magma and other material in a single eruption. And in this type of an event, the magma vents that have now been hollowed out tend to cave in, causing the Earth's surface to sink, permanently transforming the landscape into a caldera or a boiling pot in Spanish. Over the past 12,000 years, the Tapo supervolcano has been active 25 times, with the author of the new study describing the most recent eruption at uh, 232 AD as one of the Earth's most explosive eruptions in historic times. Now, since then, the volcano has continued to cause panic as the rumblings have caused destructive earthquakes and a massive ground subsidence in 1922, and that is a phenomenon where the ground sinks due to subsurface activity. Speaking to New Zealand Herald last year, Dr. Isley Kemp warned, however, Tapo will most likely erupt at some stage over the next few thousand years, and so it's important that we monitor and understand these unrest periods so that we can quickly identify any signs which might indicate a forthcoming eruption. In the study, the researchers discovered that during periods of geologic unrest, which were characterized by swarms of earthquakes, the north eastern end of the lake would slowly rise while the southern end of the lake would be depressed. Now the rising northern end of the lake is actually close, closest to the center of the volcanoes and adjoining fault lines as researchers said. The researchers noted that while the 16 centimeter uplift was not catastrophic it is certainly enough to damage some buildings or pipes as the earthquakes push magma closer to the surface of course. And this is by Anthony Ashkenaz on Express UK. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.